everybody, welcome back. We're going to The Lake of Fire, written by the Meat Puppets, but I based this on the Nirvana performance. Um, Nirvana did E flat, they tuned their guitars down a half step. We will be in standard tuning, so if you play with the recording and it sounds a little funny or a little sour, it's because you are actually playing everything up half a step. If you want to match the recording, you have to tune your ukulele down, but it's not really worth it for one song unless you have a lower voice and you could just keep it tuned half down a step. Anyways. Tintlospro.com. New songs every Wednesday, new songs every Saturday. Uh, check out the links below, see how you can get involved and help us grow. But if you came just for this lesson, that's cool. I respect that I dig it. Let's break it down. Grab your ukulele, grab your attention span, grab your brain, and follow me on into this lesson. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with that part that goes, Way too bad folks now, go when they die. Don't go to heaven where the angels fly. Go to a lake of fire and fry. See you again. Now, you need a G5. We're doing power chords, which means there's no third, so technically these chords are neither minor nor major. All right? Now, the G power chord, you're going to fret the second fret of your C string, third of your E, fifth of your A, and for this particular one, the G note, which is the root, also works. So you can play all four strings. All right? Think green any time of your life. We need to move this down to an F5, which is going to be right here, and for this chord, we cannot play the G. Alright, and then we need to bar the first fret of the E and the A string, and also reach up and grab that third of the G. Now for this chord, you don't want your C ringing, so it helps to get a little extra of your finger on that C chord, right? This shape slides up a whole step, and this one becomes your C5. And if your C string rings out here, that's okay. So those are the four chords we need. All right. I know that they're probably you probably haven't played a lot of power chords in the ukulele because they're, a they're not really convenient. Um, and B, they're more for rock and roll. We're going to rock and roll on our ukulele today. All right. So this is kind of composed of four little turnarounds, and then at the end, some spiciness. And that first one goes like this. Da, 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 da. G, down, down, down. F, down, down. So you play this chord three times, the F twice, and the B flat five once. Way to back folks now, going to die. Back to the G5. They don't go to heaven with the down, down. And then I like to do a little mute. Down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. And what I'm doing here is I'm on the third fret with the E and the A, and I try to bend them a little bit, just that quarter nudge. That's what's called like a blues curl, all right? And then after that bend, power chord, power chord, all right? So that part goes. Put the two together. Same as the first one. Except now this time, we go up to that C, down twice, once, F twice, G5. Okay, so from the top. Okay, and then you're going to go on this chord, the G5, you're going to play eight downs, like one and two and three and four and, one on the F, one on the B sharp, back to the G5. One and two and three and four and. Let it ring for a 
a second, and then from this position, we're going to remove the pinky, take our index finger and our ring finger, our pointer finger and our middle finger, we're going to pluck on the second fret, and slide all the way up to the six, and do some six and sevens back and forth. My middle finger is on the seventh fret. I like to pluck them both at the same time. Slide down, open, one, and then up a whole step, two, three, one pluck. All right, so that whole part. thing we need is the strumming part. I knew a lady who came on the loom, bit by a dog with a rabbit too, threw her away just a little too soon. I think they say something like yellow moon. And this part's going to be like a down, down, up, up, down, up. flat major, D minor, A major, D minor, B flat, C, D. The D holds twice as long, so I do something like a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 and then I go right back into it. Let's play that whole chorus together, all right? Or actually, that might be the verse. I don't even really know if what part is the verse and what part is the chorus. We'll call it power chord, open chord, right? So here we go. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it from the top I'm going to play the power chord part, and then I'm going to go into the chorus part, and I'm going to finish on a G5. It's our play along. I hope you enjoy it. And here's our song. Here we go. It's in G minor. Well, G minor pentatonic would work. The power chords have a lot of open room, but I like to, on the ukulele, dig in here at the fifth fret of your A string and the sixth of your E string and get some double stops going to start my solo. And you have a great box right here starting on the fifth fret of the C string to the seven. Six of your E string, eight, five of the A string, eight. That would sound fantastic, all right? All right. teaching it to you. We had a lot of fun playing it. 10thumbsbro.com. Check out the links. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're all over all of those things. 
All you have to do is go there, like them, like the photos, get involved, and patreon.com, and you can even help us grow, all right? We have social programs down here in Medellin, Colombia. We're trying to spread the music. We're spreading the love and spreading the music, all right? And we could use a little help. So if you want to get involved, let us know and send us a message or just go to Patreon. You can donate a little bit of money or check out, just, just keep an eye on us, and we appreciate it, all right? And keep on learning the ukulele and keep on having fun. And until next time, take care. Ten thumbs, a big hug. Ten thumbs up if it helped you. Take care. Ciao.